Right. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Wait. Let me check that. Yep. Right. Good. Um. Welcome to the fourth part now. And hello, mute and the real Lux Aviation. Next episode should be Soviet Vienna. I'll try pass through Bulgaria when we're coming back on the other side of the world. But we're still very far away. We're uh, we still have like three more flights in America and. Then we'll be in Russia, so Asia, and then we'll be able to come back to Europe. So we still are a while away from Europe, but I'll try see if it's possible to pass through, uh, what's it called, through um, Bulgaria when we're back in Europe. It'll be one of the last flights in this series. Hello, Andrew. Um, let's get this plane started as quickly as possible. So we're going to get a GPU here. Uh, battery switch can come on. Seatbelt sign as well. And let's get the ground power connected. We'll go to ground power on this thing. Um, we're flying a real livery this time. Instead of my own livery. Because I think that will be a little nicer. I'm getting sick of my own livery for now. Um, anyway. I'm going to quickly get back in here and get the IRSs lining up. There we go. Nine minutes on those. Hello, Luxio. It's Pux. I could imagine. She's that plane as a GPU. Not the plane. This is the GPU. This box over here. Ground power unit. Um. Right. Let's quickly get everything else here set. So we will. This light on here. APU bleed on. These can come off. Um. Right. Off, off, on, on. There we go. Um, these can also come on. The yaw damper on already. And... Looking good. We will quickly set all our data inside the FMC, and then we will get moving. So our airport right now is CYYR. Same bro, you got one of those just... I have a GPU and a CPU. You have a, what kind of GPU? Like a graphics card or a fucking ground power unit? Imagine having a ground power unit at home. That'd be great. Okay, so C, Y, Y, R, I think it was. Yep, C, Y, Y, R. Uh, where is that? Y, Y, R? That's where we're at. Uh-oh. Oh, C, V, V, R. Did I really type that in? Where's the Y? Whew, uh, that would have been a problem if uh, the airport wasn't registered on X plane. I don't know what gate we're at, so we're just going to leave that empty. Go to root, origin, destination is C Yo. C Yo. Alright, C Yo. Uh, God damn, it's raining outside. Uh, why is it so hard to type these codes and I can't find any of the letters here? Uh, flight number, we're going to leave that empty. Our departing runway is. Uh, runway 1616 and next page for our oh wait no we'll first do the departure there are no SIDS available here so we're just going for a departure uh, runway 16 so we'll select this uh, no SIDS so we'll go back to the root page next page uh, direct to DCT and then tasty uh, DCT, where is that? D. Come on. Damn, I'm so slow at typing today. Not on database. That's not good. Let me try enter it in the legs page then. If it'll accept that. DCT. Right. Not our day today. Hello, Devin. I have a grand power unit and a GPU. Lucky man. Try and eat. Oh, you got a VR headset. It's great. <coughs> Should be really fun. I think games in VR must... Never tried VR, but... I don't know, it just looks like the immersion must be great. Anyway, um, we're gonna have to use a different thing. We're just gonna go direct to Tasty, then. Since DCT doesn't want to work, so... Tasty. Or maybe DCT is... Uh, not a waypoint? Let's see. Let me try this. Alright, well... We'll go direct to Tasty. I like that name. I'm guaranteeing there's more than one name, Tasty. Oh, there isn't. That's nice. Tasty. 
Then DCT again. What? What is this DCT thing about? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just ignore all that. D right. That... I just realized DCT is an abbreviation for direct. Okay. That is a very... Goddamn. Kekna. How did I miss that? How did I miss that DCT was direct? Ah, that is embarrassing. Alright, direct to Kekna. Lots of directs here. Kekna, then... Mivax. One second, chat. I'm just trying to get this over with, because this is pretty boring for me. As well. Pentu. Um, man, I cannot believe I thought BCT was a waypoint. Penta. What? I'm s pen two. I'm so slow at typing on this thing today. Where's the P? Pen two. There you go. And then cat hog. And then we got our standard arrival. So cat hog. And then arrival. We want river four. River two is there. Um, River 2, maybe they changed the name, so we'll just go with the River 2. And for, wait, let me deselect this first. Uh, River 4, runway 3-2, uh, ILS 3-2, that leaves us with River 2, that's the closest we got, right. And root, activate. There we go! <coughs> you have a big willing? Um, honestly, you'd have to judge it for me. I'm watching this video on the Quest 2 on VR. Ah, interesting. No sus words, what did I say? I am, I swear. I mean, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could watch YouTube on VR. I wonder what that's like. Right, um, we got the initial data set, the routing, what other data does it want? Performance data, yes, we don't have that set. Um, root performance. I knew that was too quick. Um, our takeoff weight, one... Ah, oh, fuck's sake, it's in pounds. Uh, general configuration. Why always in pounds, bruh? Let me also turn the... Because I know this is going to piss me off later on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now it should be in kilos, the normal measuring system, 52.3. Point three. Hello, oh, Euros. Copilot duty. Lovely, man. It's something like your aviation tablet, but for ETS, too. Hmm. I mean, what would they put on there? There might be a mod for it, I don't know, but you probably know. Can we just probably be saber? Alright. Enjoy, buddy. Uh, reserves, we got 5. Cost index, we're going to go to 25. Cruising altitude, what did it say here? 400. Zero, zero. There we go. Um, that all seems good, and one limit, we'll keep it as it is. 5 on the flaps. And center of gravity, 22.7. We go trim 4.5. That should be it. And yep, I think that's all we need to have set. Good. Good stuff, and we still have one minute for the IRSs to align. Show me your weights to make sure you aren't over. Oh, we're definitely not overweight, but let me show you. Uh, whoops. Bruh. I Here. Only 52 tons. No no payload at all. I just no, I can't be bothered to get a payload on there. Um, makes calculating the fuel a little more tedious. Anyway, um, now that we're ready, we're going to get the APU on. We don't need a pushback, which is nice. Because we can just taxi straight out. Put this onto a PU generator. 
I'm gonna close this door back here. We're not flying in my livery this time. We're flying with WestJet. Second beast are in a rage quit, so I'm back. Welcome back, Devin. And everyone's got VR headsets now. Should go flaps 10. This runway's decently long, isn't it? I mean, last time if I didn't trust you, we would have messed up, so I'll trust you with this. Using reserve fuel. See, that's not what I like to see. I'm trusting Simbrief this time. I want to see what Simbrief will cause. Flaps 10. Let's see. 118. One. Okay, they're just all a bit more, so we'll set this to 132. And put this up as well. Really high cruise today. There we go. I'm a freaking calculator anyway. Yep. When are you going to get ETS 2? Good damn question. Um, probably should actually get it instead of like talking about getting it. I don't know, man. I cannot convince myself to ever spend money on anything else but X-Plane, you know? Anyway, let's go to the APU generators. I did... I don't know why I did this. I just can't hold back, but I ended up spending money on the 767 because it's on discount. I can't resist buying something when it's on discount. Um, it just always makes me want to get it. Okay, let's get this set as well. Oh, we need a Q&H. One sec. Let me get that. Metar. Uh, where are we? I always forget this airport's code. C-Y-Y-R. Q&H. 2986. Damn, that's the lowest I've seen it. Though I don't usually see it in the HP8, or the inches, or whatever they call it. 86. Here. What would that be? One... Mm. Right. Two nine eight six. Ah, goddamn. <clears throat> you defo have no money. Me? How good's your PC? Can you happen to handle a couple mods? Um, I I guess so. I don't know, man. It's all right. Um, if you want my specs, I can let you know. Maybe you'd know better than that, than me. Right. Um, let's get these fuel pumps on here. We have some fuel in our center tank. Uh, everything else looks fine. And we can start engine one here. Or engine two, I should say. There we go. It's come to life. I mean, it, it's alright with X-Plane 11. I'm sure my settings aren't very well optimized for the game. I'm not a very intelligent person when it comes to computers and stuff. Can you fly a friend with WSD? Uh, no, if you don't have a side stick, you can fly it with your mouse, though. Not WASD, though. It's 5 euro right now. Wait, every month I put on this game? Okay, well, since it's that cheap, I might consider it. Verify takeoff speeds, no thanks. So last time it also said we'll be on reserve fuel, and we had plenty of fuel, so I don't know. Maybe it's lying. But maybe it's because I switched the measurements. I, if I switch the measurements from kilos and this, it should switch it in the FMC as well. I don't know, man. Right, engine 1's all good. Or engine 2. I always get the order wrong. Engine 1 here. Can start coming alive as well. As long as this flight around two hours. Also, what's the chrono time for? Is that to measure the takeoff roll or something? 23, 24, 25. There we go. Disconnect the GPU here. 
And we'll go on to these generators. Turn these on. This can come off. And there we go. Looking all good to go. Let's test the flight controls. I forgot that last time, I think. There, right, left, up, and down. Also, a cool thing I didn't notice this plane has is this thing here. Look at this. You can look through some cameras. I thought it was something only Airbus had. You can also measure the time the engines take to start. Oh, well, I guess that's too late for that. Anyway, let's get taxiing um, out of here. Get the E2 ESD2 essential bundle. What does that include? Man, I wish I could just find the logins for my old Steam account. Why does the plane sound like a truck? And it's a long plane. Right, am I forgetting anything? Because I feel like I am. What's this button for? It's in a very prominent position. Also, where even is the runway I'm trying to head to? If my side stick had stopped twitching to the left, I'd be able to actually check. One six, two six. It would be here, right? One six. God damn, that is a long, long taxi. Here's a base game going east DLC, high power cargo cabin accessories, and how much would that be? Taxiways are confusing me. Okay, I'm not even sure that I'm going to the right runway. Give me a moment. I actually want to double check here. So, what do we have on this far end here? Eight, two, six. One six. Why is our you No know, whatever I'll just go for it. Fourteen euro. See that's made me uh, question whether I should get it then because I just spent sixty on a plane yesterday, so I and it pains me to spend money on things. On a plane that's basically the same like a plane I already have. Because they have the same cockpit. Because the 767, 757 are made to have very similar cockpits. They just look different from the outside. Different sizes. Why does that sound a little weird? Anyway. Pull up a checklist here. Um... Honestly, not sure what the best way to taxi here is. Let me get the landing lights on here. As we're crossing a runway, I think. And this can go to strobe and steady. Wheel well light can come off. We'll put the wing light on. Forgot to pull the flaps down to. We had 10 set, I believe. Bought that bottle, so it's worth it. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna set this to that. 
take off. Okay. Man, this is a really like bad route. <clears throat> I definitely think there's probably a better way to get to the what way we're going to. To accept to 35 knots in a straight line. I think we're over 35 knots already. I think we're at like 36. It's hard to tell though because it doesn't show your speed. Maybe I'm. I know it shows it over here, but it's really hard to see on my screen because it's so small. That number. Okay, well, on a runway, one can taxi really fast, I believe. So. Let's just pick the pace up here. Um. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't see where I can actually see the speed apart from here, but that doesn't start showing unless you're above 45 knots. You can see it over here. Right now we're 40 knots, 43, 44. Okay, I'm not going to go above 50, or at least I'll try not to. Tax up to 55, right. I'm not going to floor it all the way to 55, though, because I know I'll end up braking too late and just running off the runway. Seven people on the stream. That's surprising. Man, when you're just slowly driving down runways, you realize how long they actually are. God damn. All right. finally reached the end. Uh, I don't think you're really supposed to... Right. I don't know if you can actually kind of turn off this, or like make a U-turn on this. Why are there some lights on the runway? Um, but we will somehow do it anyway. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm sure you're not supposed to come to the runway like this. But hey, whatever. Here we can see the incredible turning radius of this plane. Here we go. Let the engine stabilize at 40. There we go, and toga. I don't quite know where one's supposed to head now. I'm just gonna let the autopilot take care of us. That is a sharp turn, but okay. Get the objective takeoff setting off here. Um, all right. ET, yes, there we go. How come they have to measure this, like, time, I swear? Does it really matter? Yeah, this is a really sharp turn. I don't know why one has to do that, but okay. Please don't tell me I have to, like, vector myself to any of them. I don't know why, but sometimes it makes you vector yourself to a point. Oh, a disc on you and Nitty. We will fix that later. Okay, doesn't seem like there are any vector waypoints, which is good. I don't like them. <coughs> Anyway, up we are. Uh, I'm gonna pull the flaps up. I should have done that a moment ago, to be honest. Uh, what heading are we supposed to be going here? Tasty 249. There. Huh. <sighs>
me see if there's anything else that I should be looking out for here. Landing gear can come down there. Right. Climb and cruise. We haven't reach, reached our transition altitude yet, so we can stick on 2986. Alright, we're now lined up on the path here. Oh damn, our top of climb is... Wait, never mind, that's not close. I'm just guessing this is a really long route. Which, let me check the estimated flight time again. 1 hour 56 minutes. Alright, not too bad. Hello Harrison, I am doing pretty good actually, what about you? Nice having you back in the stream, nice hearing from you again. These buttons hurt my eyes. What buttons? Oh, we reached 10,000 feet. We can turn these off. Oops. All the buttons on the plane. And the VS a bit high. You're climbing too fast. Um... It is pretty high, that's true. But I am just letting the plane calculate everything on its own here. I mean, I don't mind. Let me get the um, landing altitude for a final destination. Just saying, it all makes sense inside the cockpit, Harrison. It They're labeled. Um, so it does make sense eventually. Um, let's get the information for our arrival. So it's CEO, like this, I think. That's not... Oh, I know. This is the correct one. Ottawa. Um, ILS. We're landing... What now? Departure. Arrival. Uh, arrival. ILS 3-2. Um, okay. Cat 1. On 110.30. 10 all right, ten three zero. Switch that in there already, and the airport elevation is three hundred and seventy-two. So we're gonna go barrow minimums here. Uh, oops. Also, I finally found out what putting the one second. Wait, it said three seven two, so that's five seven two. Over on this thing. I find out finally what the engine start selector is being put on continuous does. Um, apparently, it is so the engine will continue trying to restart itself in case there are any engine problems. That's why they use it on takeoff and landing um, because that's when like the engines are most critical. Um, you don't want to lose them at any of, or ideally you don't want to lose them at all. But at those two stages would be the worst. So it will continue trying to relight the engines if anything does go wrong. Which, talking about that, I did forget to put them on continuous. Um, but at least now I know what they do. I like to know what something does before I hit it. Make functional tr transit small. For what is that? I hope someone makes a fun. Oh, transit. What is that though? I still don't know. Um. Right. So we have that set in there. Three seven four needs to also be set in here. So 350 will do. Turn the seatbelt sign off. Good. <clears throat> if a bunch of you guys stay in this room, we can actually play some like games or something. Um, in the middle, I don't know what game, but we can play something.
Damn, Ottawa is far away. I'll say I'll have you tab. Bet. Go to set air pressure to standard. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh come on, mute. Warned him. What did he say? You made. Oh. Fair enough. Right, I'm gonna turn the volume down of X plane here because I know the engines are gonna get annoying. Settings. System. Sound. Here we go. Now you can hear me. That is really weird. Why is my microphone we do here? No, he's got a point, he's got a point. Right, look. How? One sec. Um. If I turn my X plane volume down with this. Oopsies. Oh god. I've got a mess of tabs open right now. If I turn my. Let me open this. Right, look. If I turn my X-Plane volume, this is my microphone volume here, down, it'll disappear. Even when I'm speaking, you guys can't hear me when I pull my X-Plane volume down. That is, uh, very annoying. Why is my microphone connected to X-Plane? Um... Let's see. That is really annoying. Um, I'll have to turn x -plane down from here. Right, are you still able to hear me? Yes, you can. Good. Um, that's weird. I want to find, one sec, um, explain volume control, there's a plugin for it, I believe, yeah, this thing here, I need to install this plugin. so I can control the volumes easier, I'll do that later. This thingy here would be really handy. Just having this on my top right of my X-Plane. Anyway, I want to find that game. I'm going to look in my school the Discord real quick for the game. It was pretty fun. I can't remember what it's called. Ah, uh, there's no way I'll find it. What's that game called that, um, you draw something, then someone has to caption it, and then someone else has to draw that caption, and so on. There we go. So, f someone's able to answer my question there. <coughs> It's 
called Scribble.io. No, no, it's something else. I can't remember its name though. I'm sure they'll. Someone will get the name quickly. Oh, someone's already typing. Gartic Phone. I swear it wasn't called that. Gartic. Oh, it is this. Right. I would have never guessed that. Now, I would have never guessed it's called Gartic Phone. Okay. Here. I don't know how to host this game. I've only ever played it before. Uh, 14 players. Oh, how does this go? Invite, link copied. There. Not sure how well this works with so few people, but we'll see. Also, I don't know, um... Ryan sex balls. <laughs> I don't know how well this will work on stream, because a lot of games get ruined when someone's streaming because everyone can see the answers. But there isn't really a set answer for this. Well, an ad for dedication. I guess it's shown it to everybody who doesn't have a dad because they left them when they were five. No, I'm kidding. Um, right, well, I'm just going to start this. Hey, the playability is better when you're at least four. I don't see how we're going to get four players in this. I'll wait a moment, but I don't think it'll be possible. I'm going to start with three. I don't think... Y'all master caution in the plane. Um, that's not good. One sec. Tell a story. Uh, what's this saying? Cabin out. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, wait. I put my... Right, I'm not even going to draw this stuff. I'm sorry. Right, uh, we have a problem here. One sec. We're going to constantly be getting a warning here. For cabin altitude. I don't know how I can fix that, though. I forgot to pressurize the... Uh oh. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know if you can fix this afterwards because this has happened to me once before. Ah, uh, god. I think we have to descend, like, quickly. very quickly. Oh boy, this isn't good. Ah, no, why did I forget this? I knew I was missing something. I didn't think it was going to be this critical, though. Oh boy, and we had to... The day we get this warning, we have to be climbing to 40 fucking thousand feet. Well, thank you for letting me know, because I would have never noticed that. Um, passenger chugging in the back. Yep. I'm sorry. But I guess sorry isn't good enough. God damn. 40 thousand feet. Definitely be a few fatalities, I'm guessing. I mean, technically you have 15 minutes with the oxygen mask, so, um, kind of be fucked already. Well, actually, 
Hmm, they probably have like five to ten minutes left. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can bring it down in the next, like, bring it below 13,000 feet, I think it is, where you can just live. Did you set cabin pressure? I did. I set this panel here. I forgot, and I even set the landing altitude already, which I usually don't go ahead and do that early. Um, but I forgot to turn the packs on, so nothing was actually happening. Let me make sure that other than that, everything else is good. And I don't know why, even if you do it midair, it's not going to work then. I think you have to descend first, and then maybe I can climb back up. Just crash it, bro. No. What is that? What? Another plane. There's a trail, but with nobody at the end of it. Alright, I gotta really speed up our descent here. 3,000 feet a minute. This means 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes for us to descend there. We'll be 11 minutes and, th 11 minutes and like 20 seconds. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not possible to uh, survive. Thankfully, it's uh, very quiet in this cabin. Goddamn, this warning is so annoying. Let me see if there's any way to mute this. Go minus 4,000 feet now. I don't want to overspeed. Alright, we'll try that. How to extinguish cabin altitude. Warning: How to turn off cabin altitude? Will sound when the cabin altitude exceeds 10,000 feet. Is a horn like the takeoff warning? Config warning can be by pressing the alt horn. Alt horn cutout button. Where's that? Oh. Okay, thank god there's a button for it. I would have never learned about this button. Uh, where is it, though, that I don't know? I'll find it. Just crap. No, I'm not crashing. <laughs> if anything, I'm landing it somewhere. Right, where's this button? Landing it, and then we take off again. It's like... Oh, here it is. Whew. you hear that? You couldn't even hear the button. The alarm. Only I could. It's just a really annoying beep. You opening some Fanta? I am not. Does it sound like that? Does it sound like that? I think it's because I had, um, what's it called, to my stream open and you could hear my stream through my mic, and then it just kept repeating itself. Very interesting, uh, terrain in Canada here. Please, please, what? If it's crashed the plane, no. Are there even any... Oh, boy. There are no airports here at all. Like, not a single one. That's not good. Oh, okay. The... 
cabin altitude warning went out. Let me see now if the plane is pressurized. Here we go. I will speed us up here. Okay, let's press VNAV again. And see if the plane will climb. Oh boy, no, it's descending. VNAV again. Now it should climb. Yep. Fifty passengers die at once. I mean, to be fair, in this case, you would still have to land anyway because I'm sure there'd be like one old passenger who probably would have passed out or something, and then you'd have to land for them. But it's a simulator, so we're all good. Just hope this warning doesn't come back. Oh, we're not, we're not climbing though. That's not good. Um. Right. It's just holding the altitude. Let's press this again here. See if it will decide to climb. I guess that's a no. Right, well, we'll manually climb then. What's this? 6-2. No, we can go much higher than that. What's the cruising speed here? Cruise. You're kidding me. No, the FMC froze. This is literally hell. Why does this happen every so often with this fucking SIBO mod? The FMC decided to quit its life on me. God damn it. <sighs> now I don't even want to do this anymore. Um. God damn. Where's the nearest airport? Use mine. Use I'm a, your FMC would also be frozen in this case. Yep. Damn. The lack of oxygen made the FMCs pass out as well. Weaklings. Right. There are no airports nearby. And with the FMC frozen, I don't think it will even follow our waypoints. That's also why it's not climbing. So, and it's not even on the legs page. If it was on the legs page, I could actually use it for something. Right, my... This, yeah, exactly. I think the best option here is... How big is this airport here? Definitely not big enough. CYGV, let's see. God damn it. There's nothing nearby. Um, Avita, oh, not this. Back. CYGV. Runway length 4,000 feet. 4,500 feet in meters, please. I don't speak feet. 4,500 feet in meters. 1,300. That's short, but I think it might be possible. How long does a 737 need to land? Wait, that's... An how long does... How long... Of a runway, does a 737 need to land? Here. 1,700 meters. Right, that is mm, not good. Because that's not long enough. Because trucks are safe from planes, that is not true at all. Maybe a truck with a truck driver in it versus a plane with me inside it might be safer. Um, f 
fuel. Oh boy, this... Okay, okay. At least we still have the other tanks. Because this would have really been a flight from hell if we ran out of all fuel. Man, everything's catching me by surprise here. Squawk 7700. There. See, I don't know what to do now. Um, also, we're being extremely not fuel efficient by flying so low. I just need to make a decision. There's no airport to land at nearby. Okay, well, we're going to climb up. Um, this extra climb here is also not going to help. Because we're wasting even more fuel now. Just crash it, bro. No. Check the FM. No, once it once the game freezes, it does not ever unfreeze. See, my plan here is once we land, the FMC should reset. And I don't know if the game will... I don't know if it will fix it, or if it will stay frozen. But in the plane, in real life, it should reset after landing and taxiing a bit. So I hope it will reset. That's why I'm looking for somewhere to land. If But there's nowhere to land nearby, because we're in the middle of fucking Canada with nothing around us here. Um, not a single building in the in the area. So, um... Yeah, if, if there is an airport nearby, and the closest airport isn't, what's it called, our actual destination, then I'll try land there so we can get the FMC working, get off all the dead passengers, and continue with all the alive ones. Um, right. And if there's no nearby airport apart from our actual destination, then I'll have to vector myself across these lines. At least the lines stay here. But... Uh, but nothing else will work, I don't think. This is not ideal. <clears throat> oh, let's get the seatbelt sign back on. People just walking around in the cabin as they're choking to death. To death. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm with my COVID vaccine tomorrow. That was really random. Can you not with the random ass words? Um. Let's see if AviTab can show any airports nearby. Does it even show airports? I swear it's just like a normal map. Airports. Oh, here. Sept lies. Well, this got to be big enough. Um, what is it called? I keep zooming in and it keeps making it smaller, the text, so I can't read it. Dude, stop making the text smaller. I need to read what it says on there. Oh, I'm supposed to zoom in like this. CYZV, CYZV, um, AviTab, CYZV, what do we have here, 5,000 feet, 6,500 feet, that should be enough, Six. 6,500 feet in meters. 1,900, yeah, we can do that. Alright, well, we'll land there then. We're not going to climb all the way. We'll climb to... Uh, what, 31,000 here? Oh. Let's 
Um, and I'll have to. God fucking damn it! I just realized. How can we even navigate there without the FMC? See, this is where air traffic controllers be useful because they can vector me there. Um, I'll have to use this Avi tab tablet thing to find my way to the airport. God damn. Map. Right, well, at least, as it looks from here, we're flying directly towards the airport. Let me see if there's any other information I can get from this airport here. I can use the ILS with- oh. Man, this is really a flight from hell. I can use the ILS without ILS, without ILS, without ILS. But this one has an ILS. ILS zero, run by zero 09. Okay. 10950. Just fly to your destination. I want the FMC to work. Well, I, I'm gonna leave this up to a spinny wheel thing. Let me... Oh, fuck's sake. Wait, let me see if you can hear that. Wait, let me see if you can hear that. Wait, let me see if you... You're kidding me. My stream did not just die on me. It did. It did not. Okay, well, as you can see, destination is not an option. The cabin pressure has had enough of me. <sighs> Shit's sake. Just crap. No! <laughs> Why do you want me to crash so badly? This is the closest you're going to get to a crash. You've seen what a pl what plane crashes in X-Men look like. Remember me? Yes, I do. Oh, you got your name with Lux in it now. Lucas, hello. You used to be called your A's before. Of course I remember you. I won't forget you. You were the person also who would be like day... Who was trying to go to day 69 to play hide and seek with me. Um, But we never reached day 69. But yeah, I'll never forget you, buddy. Um, You did pop in the stream while we're having a little bit of an incident. I forgot to turn these boys on, called the PAX, which means there's no cabin pressure, which means people have no proper air to breathe in the back, so uh, that's why you hear this warning, which I will actually turn off now because it's annoying, uh, here. But yeah, that is a problem. What was it like day four? Now, you were much further than day four. You are pretty far in. But, uh, not quite at day 69 yet. So find out how you can do this. Which... Look at that. So I do not play the game anymore. It seems like you don't either. Yeah. Just got bored of it. I'd be playing uh, much more interesting. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding for myself, but for other people. Yo, who cut the earth in half? I don't know, man. Not sure if that's broken or something. Looks a little broken to me. Oh no, it's just the lighting.
Might have been me. Oh, you cut the earth in half? Naughty boy. Okay, at least we got rid of the cabin altitude warning. Man, this flight is getting me so tired. This did not have to happen. Alright. We're having lots of issues this flight. Um. Right. Our FMC also froze, so I can't really use any of this information down here. Hmm. ETS two streamed soon. That'll stream it. Maybe on my second channel. What even is my second? Oh. Did I? Fuck. Right. Well, maybe, but I doubt on this channel. Man, this stream is. Literally a flight from hell. So what does it look like here? It's kind of a bunch of islands. Oh, I think it's that. Wait, can I see the airport already? Somewhere here, I think. So there's that, and a little bit down there. Yeah, the airport's like over here. Right, well we better get descending already then. Like, faster. Oh, and also slow down. Let me turn the volume of this up. Apologize for your ears there. I'm not gonna say this is very boring, let's just say I'm interested in other types of games. Yeah, it makes sense. Leave a like if this is a rickroll. It's not good. Yeah, I'm watching that first part, makes me want to get Euro Truck so bad again. I think that makes you an influencer. Oh, how about for the memes, I just hand fly the plane from 20,000 feet. Auto throttle off. Taking full control of this thing. The flight directors can also fuck off. Man, this flight after flight, they were getting worse each time. The first flight went pretty smooth. The second one also went pretty smooth. The third one fucked up approach. Too high. Third, the, f or no. The first one was okay. Second was okay. Third, no. First was okay. Second was a little more scuffed. Just a high approach. Third was a really low approach. And then the fourth one, well, a lot to, a lot to say about messed up. Man, I, when you're hand flying the plane, that is so tempting to just like flip it upside down. I have to hold back my temptation. Where's the oh? There's the airport.
gonna check my PayPal. Alright. Oh, we have to switch. Can someone get me... Oh, wait. Um... Can someone search on flight radar what the meter is for this airport? God damn it. I don't know what the air pressure is. Okay. Seems like the plane will hold itself alive for a moment here. Um, METAR, where are we landing? CYZV. CYZV. The fuck? They put a six hour slow mode on this now? I get. Bruh. Right, now I have to check. On flight radar. Goddamn. C Y Z V. Where's the METAR? Um, two nine eight eight. So I'm in debt three hundred euros. My dad, even bigger flex. I basically have minus two hundred ninety nines. Jeez. Why don't you talk to Marsh anymore? Um, well, I do talk, but not frequently. Kind of stop talking much. About to get y'all everything. Thank you. Buy me a plane, please. Seven three seven NG. Get me any one of them, preferably an eight hundred. But if you want to get me seven hundred, go small. Then fine. Uh, where's the airport? Bruh, I lost it. Am I that retarded? I'm gonna interact the Oh, there's the airport. Right, that is, uh, small. That's what he said. Oh, we soon have to begin slowing down here. Roblox flight someone's better than this. Facts. Oh boy, the yoke's twitching. Come on, slow down already. Pull my flapperoos out. Where's the airport at? Back there. Just hold W and you're in the sky. W? What does W even do? Oh. It resets my camera position. Come on, slow down a little quicker. 250. Come on. Two, four, nine. There we go. Can pull one notch of flaps down. Now the plane's really slowing down much faster. I think it's WestJet that's cursed, because now that I'm flying WestJet, everything decided it would be okay to mess up.
Still too high for the airport. Ten freaking thousand feet. Bang angle. Bang angle. Chill. No vortices somehow. Oh, there's the airport. I actually think pulling out the flaps was a mistake, because now we're floating a lot. here. First flight. Landing lights on. Bank angle. Bank angle. I apologize, plane. Where's the airport now? Close while you both have the exact same name. You can have the same name on YouTube, but a million people can have the same name if you want. There's no limit for how many people can have one name. Which I guess is nice, but also a little annoying at times. But I prefer that everyone can have the same name, to be honest. It's annoying when an inactive account on, like, Instagram takes a name that you want to have, and that person probably hasn't been online since, like, 2010. Do another 360 because that one wasn't enough. You can go watch Netflix, watch GTA. Down. Oh, you GTA? Or are you playing it on? GTA is an awesome game. I love it. PC, alright. A band on GTA Online. I'm honestly not surprised. I don't know what you could have done, but pretty good at getting banned. See ya, Lucas. Thanks for popping in. Have fun. See, I don't know if the FMC is going to reset once we land. I don't know if I'll even be bothered to do the next lug because boy, oh boy. Did this get me exhausted? Do you play online or role play? Online. Role play always looked nice until I tried it out myself on 5M and it. Eh, it's not so fun.
I mean, I guess it is fun if you have, like, a lot of mods installed and it's, like, you're really prepared for it. Oh, damn, looks like we need to turn again. I don't think a full 360 is necessary this time, though. the landing altitude for this airport here. 180. Alright, chill out. Where's the airport? There it is. I'm gonna go for the other runway there. And I can't believe this is all because I couldn't remember to pressurize the cabin. Set the auto brake to max since this is a tiny ass runway. It'll come to a stop real quick. Let's see if the FMC will reset. I doubt it will. If it does, though, I don't even know if I'm bothered to do the next leg. Where does one even taxi off? Right. Look at this tiny airport. Has two freaking runways. Like, how's that necessary? Or maybe the FMC will reset, but it won't be usable still. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like the APU doesn't want to reset. 
Oof. Looks like we'll be, or I guess one if one turns the plane off and on again, it might reset. Let's see. I'm curious about that. I turn, okay, I'm not going to turn anything off just yet, I want to look at the replay first, see what that landing looked like. The wings look so long for some reason. Decent landing, say that. Nice turn though before um, lining up. Anyways, let me see if I can reset this FMC. I'm gonna turn everything off here. So, if you off, and the battery switch can come off as well. Turn this back on. Get ground power. Let's see if the FMC will be usable. And it is. How handy. Though I don't feel like continuing this flight. How long is the flight from where we are? Uh, what does Appytab say? Uh, CYZV. Sim brief. Oh wait, we'll just use our old one. Edit flight. Depart C Y Z V. Let's see. Generate OFP. Where are we departing? Zero nine. Okay. Zero nine and zero seven. Still an hour and 23 minutes if we were to do this fight. I don't think we even have the fuel for it. Yeah, we don't. I think I'm just going to let this flight be here. Why 
is not the case. Bruh. Right, well, whatever. And I'm gonna end this stream here because I can't be bothered to take off and everything again or refuel the plane. Or wait for the IRSs to align or anything, to be honest. So, sorry about that fricked up flight. Um, I will pick it up again hopefully tomorrow and then actually get us to Ottawa. Yeah, so I guess an extra leg. Hopefully next stream won't be as scuffed as this one. Anyway, goodbye everybody, and thank you for watching.